Welcome to the Broomfield House, Jim Muncy, Bob Caludi, the consolation game of the 5th Annual Holiday Hoop Fest, Bob, the first ever consolation game for the Highlanders, as up until a couple nights ago, they've always won the opening round, they've always made it to the championship game. Tonight, the Highlanders welcome the O'Brien's Tigers from Boston. Not to get off topic, Jim, but that was the mini Crippler's head that just walked by the screen. Wow. We're going to replay of that. <laughs> right. Blaine Jordan doing replays tonight. Well. So. O'Brien, Bob, is, as you know, the school where I teach. Right. My fourth year teaching there. Uh, they come into tonight's matchup two and two. They lost their opening round to Pump Bon Academy. And they're going to, uh, Pump Bon will play English High School later tonight. English, of course, handing Somerville High School their first loss of the regular season, putting Somerville at three and one. So they're going to follow that. They're going to follow our game with their championship game later. I don't think that's being televised, is it? No. No one cares about that. So tonight, Jim, is a big math quiz night. Yes. I will be taking tonight, during the broadcast, one of your math quizzes that you give to your seventh or eighth grade students. It's a math test that I give to my seventh grade students there who are doing an eighth grade curriculum. Now, it's a test specifically designed to be done without a calculator. So you don't even need a calculator, and I don't allow a calculator on this particular test because it would make it too easy. So the kids do it without a calculator, that's how you'll do it. Now, before well, you do, I'm going to go ahead. If I'll finish, if I did have a calculator, that would only make things more difficult for me. All right. I don't so need a calculator. I do it all up in the noggin. We'll see about that. Uh, this is the syllabus that I hand out on the first day of school, Bob, pay attention. And this is the grading policy and materials and expectations that I give the kids on the first day of school. So to be fair, I'll give you those documents as well before you do the test. I don't need that, Jim. You don't need that? I don't need any of that. All right. <laughs> Fine. Um, you're going to do the test during the opening, during the first half? During the first half. All right, no. so I'll wait till we come back from the starting five to give it to you. Right. Let me just give the folks at home a quick glimpse. Should, it's should only. I not look? Don't look. Here's the whole test, folks. Alvino, if you want to yep, pay attention. Yep. I don't want yeah. any, any special uh, easy questions, Jim. I want this to be one of your top-notch tests. Now, this is the first page of the test. As you can see at the top, it has to do with I gotta look myself here. graphing parabolas and foiling. Foiling is multiplying a couple of binomials together. Review the, uh, rewrite the equation in expanded form. Find the y-intercepts, the x-intercepts, the vertex, etc. Make a graph. I'll give them some graph paper couple of those and on the back is just some straight up foiling Bob I'm sure the kids here at some high school can do that just simple foiling nothing too difficult and there's a bonus question at the end for Bob see if he can factor that bad boy so that's the test and uh, Alvino while you're here if you don't mind I've mentioned a few times crystal baby Barracuda Barahona who I think looks like your friend and mine Betsy so I dug out some pictures of Betsy Let's get a shot of this here, if we could. Jerry Knight's walking across the court, Jim, in our direction. Hopefully we didn't do anything wrong. I hope not. Now this is Betsy, who I will admit does not look like Crystal very much in this picture. Why is that off center? It's all right. Doesn't look like Betsy, uh, Crystal in this picture, but I got a few here. Okay, that's Betsy over here, right here, that's Betsy. I think she looked like Crystal. When Betsy was younger, she looked exactly like Crystal. What I'm showing you is this is what Crystal will look like in about five years. There's me and Betsy on the last day of school in high school together. I had more hair back then. That's, I, again, that's what Crystal's gonna look like. And there's Betsy, Bob, when you and I gave her a surprise visit at two in the morning, about a month into her college career, we drove up to St. Michael's in Vermont, knocked on her door, she opened, the, she opened the door. And the, you and I were right there, look at that. We and drove the entire state of Vermont, Jim, at the at two o'clock in the morning with no with no headlights. It was crazy. And you got a you got a speeding ticket going about 92, I think. Yeah, I think they that? brought the uh, the sniffing uh, dog out there, they the did. canine, they, Jim. They did. They brought a dog out to sniff the car. Uh, so I went to get out of the way. No, 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 young man, sit down. So I sat down. The dog went right on my lap. <laughs> right on my lap. Put his feet on me, lick at my face. Of course, they didn't find anything. There was nothing to find. But that was rather obtrusive. Rather, rather extreme, Jim. Now, Jim. What is, with this bonus question on your math test, what is the maximum number that I can get for? 105 will be your maximum possible score. It's a All five right. point bonus question. Well, I will predict that somehow I'll get more than that. Let's do the starting five. Stay tuned. Here we go. 